everyone and welcome back to my channel i am toy and we are simply cooking so today we are going to be making a homemade apple cheesecake so we're going to be making our crust from scratch and i already have some graham crackers that i did in my food processor now if you don't have a food processor you can get the graham crackers put it in a freezer bag or a sandwich bag and smash it really well. So we're going to be doing one and a half cups of the graham crackers and it's the cinnamon, cinnamon graham crackers that I did. So that's one and a half cups of graham crackers. So I want to say that because I'm going to be making some more later on and this is one third cup of sugar I already melted some butter and this is six tablespoons of melted butter and you just want to mix that up really well because we're going to be putting that in our pie our pie pan up really well. I have a eight, eight inch pie pan. So I'm going to be putting that in there. So you just want to put all your crust in your pie pan. Smashing that down with our fingers. So we're gonna try to put it all up into the edge. Just smashing this all the way down into your pie pan so it's like flat. And if you don't want to do this, you always can get a store bought pie graham cracker pie crust but I just like to make mine homemade and like I said this is one and a half cups of crushed graham crackers I use the cinnamon one you can use the regular one if you want one third cup of sugar and about five to six tablespoons of melted butter put that all together and put it into your pie pie pan and crust like that very simple and easy and we're going to bake this at 375 degrees for about seven minutes put this in the oven at 375 degrees for seven minutes okay so it's been seven minutes oh, eight minutes so I have already took the crust out and so I'm letting that sit and cool before I put the um, mix up the cheesecake so let's get the whip in so i'm going to be using two eight ounce of cream cheese and i let this sit out overnight before it can be softened so you want your cream cheese to be softened because if it don't be softened then when you're mixing it up, you're just going to have a few lumps of cream cheese throughout your mixture. So I'm going to do two softened 8 ounce cream cheese. And I'm 
want to do one cut of Cool Whip whipped cream. I do one full tub of that. I also want to do one cup of sugar. I'm just going to be whipping everything together. And I'm going to be doing this stuff on my finger. Oh man. Oh. I got a little towel here. One third cup of sour cream. Just a little bit. One third cup of sour cream. Pop all in there. Put just a little. So I have some allspice, not allspice. I mix up some allspice, some nutmeg, and some cinnamon. So I will leave the the measurements in my description box down below. So I'm only going to use one tablespoon of that, which is like an apple pie. It gives the apple pie spice flavor. And I'm going to go ahead and pour one tablespoon, one teaspoon of the lemon extract. And you want to go ahead and mix all this together. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little taste. I'm going to put some more of this in there. Probably a half, another half teaspoon. I already put one teaspoon in there. Just put another half a teaspoon. And a little bit more of the lemon abstract, which is probably a half a teaspoon. Just want to whip that up some more. All right. So this is already cooled off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my mixture in here. And this is a no bake cheesecake. It's all nice and creamy. in your refrigerator four to six hours or if you make it at night time you can put it you know make it at night and let it sit in your refrigerator overnight for it can firm get firmed up and this is an eight inch pie crust pie press and this is the 8 inch pan and this also makes like two this mixture will make two of the smaller pie press like the 6 inch or something this is a big pie pie press and that is it so we're going to let this sit in the refrigerator I got fillers all over the place we're going to let this sit in the refrigerator four to six hours and we're going to put some topping on it and I will show you the final results.
Okay, so I got my cheesecake in the refrigerator cooling off or it can be firm. So I'm just going to be making my apple topping. So I cut up a Granny Smith apple and I did one and a half and I just chopped that up. I'm going to put some sugar in here. I don't know how much that was. <laughs> I was just eyeballing it. And I have my apple spice, apple pie spice seasoning. I'm just going to toss that around because we're going to be cooking this over the stove. And I got two tablespoons of butter in my skillet. And I'm just going to try to make these soft before it can form into a topping before I can put over my cheesecake. So I think I did like two tablespoons of sugar. Just eyeballing it. I'm gonna cook these over the stove. Oh, all right. So I'm cooking up my apples for my topping, and I have like a teaspoon of cornstarch with some water, just to make it a little thick. It don't mess up your flavor, nothing like that. So it's just making it a little thicker. And I want my apples a little soft to put on my cheesecake. And I'm just going to add just a little more sugar. Just make a teaspoon and a half. You just want to eyeball it, whatever your desire. And this. I've been cooking about two to three minutes. Just you want to get them soft for your little topping. And ah, one fell over. Mm. And that is it. We're gonna let we're gonna turn this off because apples is pretty pretty much done. And these are Granny Smiths. So, they pretty much done. I'm going to turn off the stove, turn off the eye, and let these sit and cool before I put them on my cheesecake. And that is it. That is all. I'll show you the final results after the cheesecake is firm. Okay, so it's been sitting in the refrigerator for about four Probably about a few hours there and it's all nicely and firm and off camera I have tasted the apples mm. so I put some brown sugar and a splash of vanilla and a little bit of more cinnamon in there so whip that up all right so here go the taste test ah, got this big old knife and I'm not going to put the topping on all over the cheesecake because I want to give some to my mom and she probably don't, don't want some of the topping on here. So I'm just going to put it, that's why I put it in a jar. That way you can have your own amount of topping. Some of the topping. It's nice and firm. I'm gonna put some of the topping on here. Ooh. Yes. Drizzle some of that on there. Try and make it look pretty. 
Mmm. Okay. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Not just because I made it either. It's just good. Get another paste. It's just nicely and creamy. You take that apple pie, that flavor in there. Ah, oh, it's just so good. And this is no bake apple pie cheesecake. All right, and there it is. Okay. That is it. That is all. I have my no-bake homemade apple pie cheesecake with some homemade your crust, the cinnamon crust. And that is it. That is all. Well, thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.